welcome to acute rhinitis from <coughs> science teaching academy <coughs> why i am coughing eh? <coughs> but this cough will lead to running nose even many one of us many of us will got that running nose right but have you ever think why it happened only few medicos should understand that why not us come let's understand together why we get running nose i am eager hope you too so running nose is because medically called acute rhinitis let's look at the synopsis of our topic here we are going to cover four important contents our defense means our police force of our body then viral attack bacterial attack and how specifically viral attack and host interact with that viral attack that is host viral interaction to so understand that war field what happened in the war let us understand about the war field that is our throat our respiratory tract our respiratory tract is basically classified into two compartments upper compartment and lower compartment the upper respiratory tract covers over mouth airway oropharynx and nasopharynx and the lower compartment comprises of the trachea and a areoles fine this airway see what is nasopharynx and oropharynx you might have familiar with nose and mouth right from our childhood but nasopharynx is nothing but a pharynx region behind our nose and similarly oropharynx a region behind our mouth then to look into deep into our tract look over some epithelial layer lying over it and while in our running nose you may have seen some jelly kind of substance running from out of nose what is called we may call it as mucus right but you may wonder what mucus is made up of mucus is made up of a protein and a polysaccharide a group of amino acids and a group of monosaccharides together form mucus uh, that is a common pathway between our nose and our intestinal tract that is called pharynx our stomach is rich of acids so these acids will cleave off the mucus so follow the arrow mark the mucus from the respiratory tract enter through pharynx through esophagus from where the mucus is separated into protein and a polysaccharide so how the mucus moves towards that it's all because of the ciliary action in the throat so the cilia are nothing but a flagella kind of things which moves the mucus towards up then what are these iga defensin protease collectins this is to give you a glimpse of what are the different kinds of proteins acting against these viruses to appreciate this we can want to move to further slides okay now we are having a zoom picture of our epithelial layer from where mucus is secreted actually mucus are secreted two important regions goblet cells and glands so goblet cells are nothing but the cells which occur over the epithelial layer and you might have appreciate here there are no cilia here and you can also see that there is no cilia over the glands also because these are the two regions where actually the mucus secretes and the glands are surrounded by smooth muscles so that the smooth muscles can voluntarily press over the glands to secrete out the mucus when it is required fine to spit out the mucus when it is captured over the bacterial surface or a virus there are many groups of microorganisms enter inside our different entry points of our body like nose mouth anus everything right through nose also different groups of viruses enter but which groups of viruses survive you might have studied from your childhood that it is called rhinovirus which survive all the viruses or all the microorganisms adapt to a particular temperature called tropism uh, we all know that our body temperature is 37 degrees centigrade but it is different from our nose our nose have only 33 degrees centigrade so which which viruses survive on to that temperature will survive for example the pink one here which i have pointed among different class of viruses the pink one virus pink virus have entered that is called rhinovirus have entered but for a virus enter why there are different anti defense sources are there the virus have a weapon called antigen a particular protein which exhibits the toxicity of that virus but for that our body will produce call a protein called antibody which go and opsonize that 
antigen but you may see two antibodies have been generated here antibody 1 and antibody 2 how both antibodies can be generated against the same antigen i said only one virus have entered but how it differentiate between two a term called serotyping enters so serotyping is nothing but a minute changes over that virus which makes different types of a same virus whatever medicine comes till colds exist for a long time you may hear this funny fact right if you consume tablets for cold it will cure for seven days if you not consume it will cure for one week right so whatever happens i never ss exist because of this different serotypes look over the picture over here as i said before the cilia will move away the mucus but the cilia over here can be uh, make us an entry point for virus because there may be receptors so the receptors over that our cells are very well enough to hug over the virus but the bacteria represented here in brown color have no such receptors so bacteria doesn't have any entry points but virus enters in and changes the morphology of the cell finally in this picture you might have looked that cilia have been disintegrated these are all the actions of viruses so no ciliar motility hereafter and there is no break because of the breakdown of cilia the cell for full virus particles the cell become the factory of virus particles now so what happens to the fate of the cell with virus either the cell may go for cell lysis that its membrane disrupts and all go in a collapse state or the brilliant cell will go for self suicide the self suicide is technically called as apoptosis that is programmed cell death by our own cells or instead instead of rhinovirus i am looking over another case called adenovirus which forms a crystal inside the nucleus or our virus which may be marked by different markers around our cell can be recognized by our police force there is a patrolling police force of our body that is white blood cells they will surround our virus infected cells for destruction if there is no cell destruction but the virus particles use that as factories and grow further the top most picture which i represented called cancer transformation means it occurs in a very few kind of viruses like papilloma virus these viruses may lead to the cell to proliferate look over here how a bacteria can enter into our infected cell in the before slide we have said that bacteria can infect uh, enter into our infected cells but here the bacteria which have receptors can attack a viral infected cell means even the virus have infected the cell bacteria can have an upper hand over it here in this case the bacteria the blue color bacteria which i represented are using a brilliant trick that they are producing toxins over the receptors of cilia but still the cilia is not disintegrated right then what happened exactly there it makes the cilia static it doesn't move further if the cilia is moving here and there only it can move the mucus upside but here it becomes it static and make the entry points for bacteria to insert it in the beginning of the slide as i said bacteria have a special toxins which uh, which comes really to affect us but not in the case of viruses viruses are obligate parasites which needs us to live but bacteria is like our enemies infecting us see in the case is a special case for tuberculosis so tuberculosis again due to a bacteria called mtb mycobacterium tuberculosis in which it will go inside the epithelial layer of areola so areola is nothing but the respiratory tract endpoints where the gas exchange actually takes place in that place there are a lot of macrophages means a kind of wbc will be there the mtp bacteria enjoys over it means tb will grow well escape from the bagocytosis of macrophages and they will use that cells to grow well thank you for listening with us about the basics of acute rhinitis in the forthcoming lectures we can understand the brief description about it with further details next time when you get cold do not fear fight it with proper understanding of it thank you